Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. Now, special shout out to all my bench gang fam. Your girl has been under the weather. Like, I, I'm just coming back from the hospital. But then I have to heal my gang. I have to heal everybody because today is a special day. Today is a special world day. So, first of all, I have to say, darlings nationwide, let us all wish the queen herself happy birthday to Queen May Yule Doche, man. Today is her birthday. Ding, 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 ding. So, this is wishing you... um an amazing year ahead um i know that 2022 tried you but man you're not shaking god is with you you know be of good cheer god is with you may enjoy a lot of well wishes from uk um i'm going to post one video here happy birthday from the uk happy birthday from the uk going to attach how she spent her day today i was able to get some clips from the live um show she she was live on instagram for her foundation so they went out to the community and they were sharing stuff like that was so heartwarming guys if you missed it i have some clips that i'm going to be showing you guys here okay so i just want to say uh, my family and i we are very very grateful on behalf of me for the tremendous i mean on believable overwhelming support that we have received and because that's just you just the definition of beauty inside that inside and out you have a beautiful soul and no one can ever deny that and we are so proud of you sis yes i love you okay for coming here to celebrate with my sister and in the future we're going to do more to develop your community i'm a big um i'm a big proponent of community enrichment and developing the human existence so trust me you will not be forgetting we will take care of you okay and your community <laughs> all right guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below man this was just an amazing outing what a what an awesome way to celebrate your birthday really by giving back to the society the maze um oasis foundation can see her sister was there her daughter was there may has been enjoying lots and lots of well wishes from nollywood um celebrities and all of that people have been sending her different well wishes so if we want to backtrack a bit man guys if there's anybody that this year tested i'm sure that may has to be inside because the way this year tested her <laughs> It was shocking you know if you're new to this channel i have a whole playlist of the ordeal and a lot of people will be asking some people used to send me messages like i see you didn't used to react to this thing again what happened there has been talks lots of talks about there's a reconciliation that has happened between me and my husband you and all of that and people were like oh maybe that's why we stopped posting online in-laws now will rest yeah 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 but first still in the birthday mood may posted um lots of beautiful pictures guys hey god they create you. she is looking so gorgeous so beautiful you know so she um posted some all these um, pictures on ig and she had like four posts so i'm going to be reading what she wrote on the post her first ig post said behold your queen with beauty enrobed my name is queen may yole doce and today is my birthday of course she now added the glam squad and everybody second post is dear lord i'm most grateful for an additional year along with your extravagant grace 
mercy and blessings upon my life. You even made me a queen. I say a very big thank you, Lord. Okay, so that was the second post. The third post, she wrote, not even the rays from the sun can match the radiance of this beauty. It's my birthday and I'm just getting started. Well, she said enjoy the last of the collection for today so guys these pictures were the bomb i was waiting for this part so her estranged husband you actually posted her on his ig page and he wrote happy birthday to my wife my ceo extraordinaire queen may yule doce i wish you many uh, more beautiful and successful years may god continue to guide you protect you and bless you beyond your imagination. Love you forever. Jesus. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section because I mean well it's still his wife. They've not been divorced, so if he says it's his wife, it's his wife, I guess. So that's my own thoughts and honestly i'm spent concerning you matter <laughs> that's why i've not been doing posts like i'm like bro anything you do is correct anything you want to do is your own um as if this one was not enough our co-wife nana decided to post <laughs> this is the one i have a problem with because i don't know i feel like this is just clout or is it because she said that she's mommy kindness abi she's the kindest woman on earth or something like that because this really did not make sense but judy took out time from her busy schedule to make a post also for me and she said happy beautiful birthday queen may le doce i wish no 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 i pray for god's love and protection Wishing you everything good in life. Enjoy your day. That one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Me personally, I just feel like she shouldn't have done that. You have her number if you want to call her. This, Unless, like, people have been speculating. Um, there's a reconciliation or something. But still, I don't even understand. This thing is not supposed to be like this. Anyways, so moving on, there has been so many rumors. And I know that a lot of you have been waiting for me to say my beats. Okay? That's what I'm going to be doing here. That's why I started with the birthday vlog. Okay, so there's been so many rumors and speculations um, going on, and I'm going to address them to the best of my knowledge. So the first one, um, people have been saying that Judy had that her baby as a surrogate for her elder sister. And so this whole thing has been a prank. <laughs> and like seeing this thing, it got to a point, I think Uju, Uju talk show and a couple of youtubers like they had live sessions where people were saying this is from a reliable source this is even chi i think chi no yerem was said this is from a reliable source and i'm like ah, i personally do not think it's so this is this cannot be a prank like what's funny about this thing what was what was it supposed to achieve i don't think it's a prank i think that's that rumor or speculation is it just doesn't make sense like if you have a surrogate for your sister is it not the sister that is supposed to be posting the child? Why would you open an Instagram page and call the child by another woman's husband's name? Or like, to do what exactly? Do you understand? So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section because this particular one, the mass is not massing in my head and I feel like it's all lies. The second rumor, they said Judy or her sister or somebody allegedly wrote um, a post to Yol, I think on Facebook, I'll be on Instagram, I'll be when the sister did a live many you know how some of these youtubers can be doing clickbait and just i don't like those type of things don't make it too you know somehow basically they said she wrote that yo should make up his mind and then um, they're trying to cite issues i'll be trouble in paradise concerning judy and you for me honestly it's none of my business anything they let me do if it's the both of them i'm spent i'm not even going to give them any clout again that one for me is just if people say if anything they want to do now for me would just be like it's promo it will give me promo vibes for any of the movies they are doing do you understand like um sorry if my voice is sounding somehow seriously i'm not feeling fine um anything they do it's going to look like okay they want promo they want balls concerning a movie or something so i don't want to give that one any thought the third rumor is that um may and you'll have reconciled and um one of the reasons i feel like um, this rumor might have some weight is because you see this um outreach they did for the foundation um rumor has it or people speculated that they cited you of course here at the launching of the foundation 
um he was there i mean he was present i don't know if he came with the daughter or he came they all came together um uh, let me not lie to you people i do not know if they've reconciled um i do not know if they've reconciled people shaming online in law saying eh, now that we learn how to keep our mouth in out of people's businesses you need to know that it's because of the massive public outcry and these so-called online in-laws that you're calling us that's why we don't have like a massive display of second wives like if this yo matter had gone through and then um, the public accepted it and everybody was chilling i bet you before this year runs out a lot of people will see second wives in their houses you know a lot of people are looking at this situation and knowing that man this is a no good area do you understand that kind of thing and some of them even with children might want to just keep their um side chicks as side chicks do you understand because some women eh, don't mind for some reason yeah some women don't mind if as long as a side chick some people know their husband's side chick but when it comes to marriage there's just a line with it so personally i don't know if they've reconciled because um a reconciliation at this point will mean of course they've decided that okay as it to be a polygamous marriage they'll find a way to make it work but for me i feel like this matter is very dicey however i wish them all the best I've um, done my part with relating the stories to you guys to the best of my knowledge. And I feel that right now the ball is in Yo's court. However, he wants to play this ball, man. It's in his court. Um, I pray for me, all the strength, all the wisdom to be able to know what to do. You know, um, the fact that, you know, when you're making, you're showing your cards, she's not showing cards. She's not, nobody knows what she wants to do. We can only speculate. People can speculate. People can write. People can do everything. But right now, I cannot say for sure that this is what has happened or that is what has happened. I feel like um, af- we should, as the public, of course, as m- somebody that was always posting about it, um, I like the fact that um, everybody understood when I needed to also give them time. To work on whatever it is at that point i felt like yul had probably learned his lesson and wasn't going to be putting out like issues you know that period he was always posting something about the home posting something about his marriage posting something about judy posting you know and he just kept people talking you know so when all that stopped everybody's going to mind their business you know everybody's going to give you space and that's exactly what happened but guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think i know that all our tempers have gone down concerning this issue but um if this was you um what do you think about your reconciliation i just feel at this point it's either here or there concerning what you want for your life concerning what you want um for the kids i don't see direct divorce kind of thing happening do for me but I find that whatever they decide to do is going to work. And then some people are so fixated on the fact that she still maintains her name. I think we've we've covered that a lot in our previous videos that when it comes to name, man, <laughs> name change is not as easy as you think. And you can leave the name there. It's not um, a problem or it's not a cost to say, okay, all is well. Because even at this birthday um, post that she made, she actually put her name and, you know, put her surname, May Yule Doche, and everybody's like, okay, as you see, see, I think they've reconciled. For me, I will not tell you if it's yes or no, because I don't have any information concerning a reconciliation per se. I just find that whatever decision they, are, they have decided to make as a family, um, will respect them. Me, I have said my own. I've done several videos. I've said the parts that I can see. You understand? <laughs> so, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And once again, want to wish me from the bottom of my heart, I pray for you. I pray that God will give you wisdom. I pray that God will continue to strengthen you. I pray that when all has all is said and done, and you're in your house, you know, when the evening comes, that God will clothe you, that God will be a shield of, over you, that you will not be afraid, whatever decision, whatever step you make. God will be with you every step of the way. He will cover you. He will bless you. He will bless your children. He will bless the works of your hands. May God continue to keep you. I wish you all of the best. I wish you a fantastic year ahead. Of course, this is a joyful day. And we wish May Yule Doche all the best and a fantastic year ahead. I remember your girl, Asi Darling. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.